Hey guys, it's Adrian from AdrianCGMAS.com and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you three methods for creating cylinder holes and creating this kind of repetitive details, alright? Now for the first method I'm gonna use the boolean, for the second one I'm gonna use the circleize tool and for the final and the third one I'm gonna create a planar surface then I'm gonna apply the bend tool alright now for all these three methods I only want to model this section of the mesh then I'm gonna apply a mirror tool and duplicate the rest alright for the first method the boolean I'm gonna create a cylinder right here rotate it 90 degrees rescale it and create another cylinder a smaller one to use it at or to create our hole and use it as boolean so first I'm gonna create this uh, hole at the top and then I'm gonna create uh, or use another one of these a smaller cylinder and create this uh, hole at the center of the cylinder alright so let's select our both cylinders I'm gonna isolate them then I'm gonna move it around to an appropriate position like that scale it down so before I'm gonna apply the boolean I have to think ahead and figure out the topology first I have to uh, realize and figure out how I'm gonna connect all these edges together so as you notice and obviously these, uh, this uh, cylinder right here is way too dense for our main cylinder so let's select it go to chamfer box input and let's decrease the subdivision something like 12 so it kind of match uh, its topology and match the whole shape together because at the end of the day gonna be the same uh, one singular object all right so let's go to input chamfer box and let's increase uh, the bigger cylinder subdivision to 36 all right something like that let's uh let's call it down a bit all right so as you can see here it's kind of a match this edge to this one and we have a easier time to trying to clean up the topology after we apply the boolean operation let's select both of the cylinders control d to duplicate select them again first the main cylinder and the smaller one shift right click and go to boolean its difference let me just create uh, a hole into our mesh nice now it's time to clean up the topology I'm gonna select uh, this vertex and target weld it to this one shift right click merge vertices target weld tool so as you notice if I target weld this the whole curvature of our cylinder just ruined and we do not have the same curvature as we had before so we have to prevent this kind of effect and try to isolate and limit on only this part of the mesh in order to do that I'm gonna select all these edges right here shift right click and connect components I'm gonna use the scale tool to straighten out and move this uh, edge loop to the uh, right side of the hole here I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side of the hole select all the edges connect components and move this edge loop to the left side of the hole right here now it's time to create and figure out the topology and clean up the topology and clean up all this mess right here all these angles and tr let's try to make it most out of the quad and triangles all right now just target all this I'm gonna select all of these vertices in here shift right click connect components 
select one of these uh, vertices and target bold it. All right. Wow, it's very close <laughs> to crash. That was a close one. <laughs> All right, so let's select these vertex and target bold it. You have to be very careful for uh, when you're using the boolean and be prepared. If you use any software and application, be prepared and always save your file. All right, and by the way, these uh, three methods can be applied to any 3D software. All right, now it's time to create this uh, hole at the center. I'm gonna select again this is small cylinder and move it to the exactly at the center of our main cylinder right here. I'm gonna isolate it, go to front view and let's bring this smaller cylinder at this center as you can see this edge is exactly at the center of a smaller cylinder I want to be perfectly in line with our main cylinder and be exactly at the center because when we apply and using the mirror tool we get a very good result all right I'm gonna move it to the right I'm gonna select our main cylinder then the small one shift right click boolean and hit difference all right so now we get the details that we want I'm gonna do the same thing here select all the edges connect components and move this edge loop to the right side to isolate only this part of the mesh I'm gonna target build it and trying to clean out the topology I'm gonna insert three edge loop in here to connect to these three vertices shift right click and insert edge loop insert one two three so as you can see the boolean method is very time consuming needs a lot of cleanup and when uh, we try to import this mesh to a game engine so uh, we have to stay away from any remesh tools or anything else because it usually creates a high polygon count all right and this um, so, so we clean up the topology here we don't need to go ahead and clean up the rest of the mesh because we're gonna use the mirror tool and get the rest of the details on the bottom hour or on the other side all right so let's go to object level let's go to edits and let's delete the history and let's go to modify and center the pivots now it's time to use the mirror tool I'm gonna merit axis position X and use axis and uh, in the Y axis and I'm gonna choose merge threshold something like 0 0.1 will work alright I'm gonna get the details for the other side of the mesh first I'm gonna again go to edit delete delete history I'm gonna shift right click and use the merge tool again uh, I'm gonna use axis position object direction it plus and we get our details on the other side of the mesh on the X axis mesh threshold 0.1 alright now as you can see here some of the uh, we got bunch of overlapping vertices in here select all the word vertices in here and merge vertices 0 0.1 again all right now it's time to duplicate the details let's select all these um, faces at the end control shift i to invert it shift right click to detach it go to a mesh separate the components now we have an individual object in here isolate all right now I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of these uh, cylinder at the center let's go to modeling toolkit and control and select on the face selection grow and just delete all right 
I'm gonna go to the as the snap and activate snap to points all right I'm gonna hold D to activate edit pivots I'm gonna move the pivot to one of these vertex at the left side of our mesh I'm gonna exit out of the edit pivot or hit D on the keyboard I'm gonna shift D on the keyboard and move this uh, mesh to the right in here shift D shift D shift D again I'm gonna select all these objects mesh combine or hold sh shift right click and combine I'm gonna select all the vertices and merge vertices 0 0.1 all right now we have these details right here we can I can go ahead and shift right click and use extrude extrude like a to th give us a bit thickness and then we have these details right here all right it's a little bit time consuming and let's go ahead and delete them this was a method number one let's go for method number two and using the circleizer tool right here all right now for the uh, for the second method i'm gonna create a cylinder again i'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees i'm gonna scale it out a bit now for the second method we have to be careful with our topology I'm gonna use 36 subdivision again in here and I'm gonna isolate it I'm gonna insert a edge loop in here to isolate this section of the mesh alright I'm gonna create a bunch of segments in here shift right click connect tool for example and I'm gonna go to modeling toolkit and have some like eight segments in here all right now I'm gonna go to for example front view I have to be careful and know where the exactly the center of the mesh is because we're gonna use again uh, the mirror tool I'm gonna select for example these this uh, two faces at the center left side or the right side of the mesh I'm gonna go to select and hit grow all right I'm gonna do the same thing here again this for the this hole at the center and we select these faces for the hole at the top all right let's go back and select them again alright I'm gonna go ahead to the select and hit grow alright now we select these faces I'm gonna shift right click and hit extrude faces let's uh, offset go to offset offset it again I'm gonna shift right click and circleize components now this is very important part because we're gonna go to alignments and align it at the surface average decrease the radial and uh, radial offset like that all right it depends how large you want to your uh, hole wants to be all right uh, for example I want to be this large and can delete for example the hole now it's time to use the mirror tool again I'm gonna go to edit delete by type history and modify center the pivots shift right click and use mirror tool access position objects use Y all right 0.1 and then we get these details at the bottom I'm gonna do the same thing here again again delete history do all this thing again delete history and center the pivot and use the mirror tool again to get the details for the other side of the mesh alright 
direction positive now we get more results again and we're gonna duplicate duplicate it and get the rest of the details all right as you can see this is the fastest method of all of them but uh, we got to be careful with the topology and all of this for example we get this error right here because we use the mirror tool we have to be targetable them just be careful about the topology and you get a very good result in a very short amount of time all right now for the third and final method i'm gonna create a plane activate snap to grid and create a plane like that i'm gonna select these two edges and shift right click connect tool I'm gonna go to modeling toolkit and add like a 14 segments I'm gonna do the same thing on these edges here again select all of them shift right click connect tool I'm gonna to use eight segments so what we're trying to do and what we're trying to achieve I'm gonna model these three holes in here I can for example model only this hole in here and this hole in here then use a mirror tool but again it's uh, these uh, this method is gives us a lot of flexibility and the easiest method ever uh, because of that and just go ahead and clean and create or hole in here very easy I'm gonna choose and select these three faces go to select and grow all right let's add another let's make or circle or hole a little bigger i'm gonna add a bunch of more faces in here shift right click go to extrude and offset like that i'm gonna shift right click use uh, circleize component tool let's decrease radial offset a bit all right beautiful all right let's alt shift d to delete history and center the pivots now it's time to go to the form non-linear and use the bend tool all right i'm gonna go to the chamfer box go to inputs bend change the curvature to uh, 90 degrees all right now i'm gonna go to rotate tool rotate it at the 90 degrees in the y-axis and the 90 degrees at the z-axis so we get this half of our cylinder right here all right this half all right i'm gonna alt shift d to get rid of the bend i'm gonna rotate it again 90 degrees in here over to the side isolate it all right i'm gonna move the pivot to the center of the in here hold uh, hit d and select one of these vertex i'm gonna alt shift d again shift right click and use mirror use axis position object to get uh, the results at the other side as well all right use y-axis direction negative 0.1 merge threshold all right i'm gonna go to the face components and delete these uh faces right here now we get our hole just like that very easy this is the best method of all time it gives you a lot of flexibility a lot of control very powerful method always use this one all right now this was the end of this tutorial i hope you like it be sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and i'll see you guys next time take care